In this video, we're going to talk about what a node is. I'm not getting into creating graphs or substances just yet. Right now, we're just going to talk about, you know, well, what a node is. So here I have uh, Substance Designer, and uh, this is what we refer to as a package. So it's the substance, and within this I have an item which is referred to as a graph. Now, as I mentioned in the previous video in Substance Designer, you're going to uh, work in this node editor to connect and build nodes, which is how you're going to produce the textures that you create. So this node editor or workspace is actually a graph that houses several nodes. Now here I have the library. Now the library in Substance Designer is where you can see a collection of all the nodes that ship with the program. So in this case I have uh, the generators category, noises, and here you can see that if I just mouse over this uh, noise here is called black and white spots too. And I want to create this node here in my graph. So to do that I'm just going to left click and drag and drop this node here into the graph. So I let go of my left mouse button and the node is created. You can see it's placed here in the graph. Here in the 2D view, I'm instantly viewing the output of what this node is creating. Now the process of dragging and dropping this node, this is what we refer to as instancing the node into a graph. So again, what I've done here is I've taken the black and white spots and I've created an instance of it here in this working graph. Now the graph that this black and white spots node is placed in is referred to as the host or the parent graph. And this node is a child of this parent graph. Another thing that's interesting about these nodes is, well, the nodes are just graphs themselves. So for example, if I right click this node, you can see that I have this option here to open a reference. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna open this reference and this is just asking me if I wanna load the package and yeah, sure, let's do that. So we'll click open. So you can see here that uh, in my Explorer view, a new substance package has been opened, and you can see that's a .sbs. This is the Substance Designer source file, and I'll just expand this, and here again you can see I have my graph icon just like I had up here, and this one is the black and white spots. And if we look at this graph, which is actually loaded here in the node editor, this is us, you know, we're viewing the graph, you can see that, well, this node is actually comprised of several other nodes. For example, you can see here that we have a black and white spots 3 node, we have a levels node, like a transform, a blend, here's a dirt, another blend, and then finally an output so that we can view the result of the texture here in a, as a 2D map. So again, as you can see, this black and white spots node that we originally instanced into our graph is just a graph in and of itself. This means that you can edit any of the graphs that ship with Substance Designer as well as easily create your own noises, filters, utilities, and so on just by creating your own graphs. So here I'm going to right click and just close this out and let's go back here to just this example graph where I had this black and white spots too. Now an exception to this are the atomic nodes. So if I hit the space bar, you can see this menu appears and it has a list of nodes. We have things like blend, blur, hue saturation, levels, text, normal, transform, and so on. These are what we refer to as atomic or operational nodes. Atomic nodes are the DNA, so to speak, of Substance Designer. These are hard-coded nodes that are not represented as a graph. They are very optimized and will be used often. You can also find these atomic nodes displayed here on the toolbar as well. So to recap, a node can be a graph. Atomic or operational nodes are not graphs and they are highly optimized and used often. Also, graphs can be instanced into other graphs.